But today, as of now, all these dump sites are very much a heart of the city. So today we have Ghazipur facing apartments, we have Bhalas Bhalaswa facing flats. So do we want that future for our cities? That we want our kids and our future generations to be subjected to landfills and dump sites all over? Uh, that the MCDs, the only solution that they could think about waste management for the city is more and more land. As CAC and as someone who's working on the ground on decentralized waste management systems, I totally feel that landfill is clearly not the answer. Talking about Delhi, the waste generation, uh, we really do not have a clear idea about how much we generate, but if we look at the official figures that have been provided to us by the MCDs, it's about 14,000 tons per day of garbage that the city generates, of which about 10,500 tons per day is collected every day, of which about 6,100 tons per day is processed. Of this 61 tons per day, about 80% is being processed by waste to energy plants. Now there's another black hole to it, but I'll come later to it. There are about three waste to energy plants that are there and two centralized composting facilities and a few cases of decentralized processing centers in the city which haven't been replicated to a larger extent. And the remaining waste is being disposed. So we talk about the overall picture of Delhi. I, I feel it's, it's a very shocking situation. Um, on the ground, really nothing is happening. We are still collecting and dumping or collecting or burning or collecting and making compost, but we really, there's a big question mark on the quality of that compost. Um, a lot of issues that I would like to highlight. One is that the amount of data that we have on waste generation. The last primary inventorization that was done in the city was way back in 2005. So it's been 12 years now that we really don't know what is the actual data of waste generation in the city or for most of the cities that are there in the country. Secondary, there's a huge informal population in the city, about three to four to five lakh, probably uh, Chitra would be the one who will be give, able to give you accurate, accurate figures. But these people are predominantly, you know, working as track pickers or, uh, you know, their lifestyle is still not very much upgraded. Next, when we talk about collection and processing, now there's a big market when it comes to tipping fee. Uh, we took this concept from the Western world. Now, how most of the Western countries understand tipping fee is that uh, when you dump some ton of garbage to a dump site or to an incineration plant, you pay some money because you're using a government's property, which is land or could be an incineration plant, to burn. So, for instance, in Sweden or Norway, if you want to dispose uh, or incinerate your garbage, you have a tipping fee of as high as 100 euros, which basically the municipality pays because you're burning. But out here, if you get a truck load of garbage to the dump site, you're paying a tipping fee, which means that the contractor or the person who's there at the landfill site, he will pay the truck person, the, the driver some money, which means that we are incentivizing dumping. 